Doria. Megan's mother, Doria Ragland, has been described in numerous papers as a nice lady, social worker, and yoga instructor in revenge. However, it's revealed that she was not only a heavy drug user and seller, but also absent for extended periods during Megan's childhood, which seems like a very important detail regarding Megan's upbringing. It's unclear where she was during those attractive and enigmatic absences for Megan. It's undoubtedly been a very rare childhood. It's confirmed that she was more or less an absent parent to Megan in her youth. She was out living her life while her ex-husband Thomas raised their daughter. It's been said that Megan went back and forth between her parents. Tom Bauer mentions that Doria only ever attended one of Megan's school plays and one of her graduations. Thomas was the one who did almost everything for Megan when she was at school. Moreover, Thomas and Dorian's divorce made Megan somewhat envious of her best friend, Nikki Pretty, whose parents were still together. It appears very fishy and suspicious that Tom Bohr is unable to legally reveal where Doria was during these absences. There is one persistent rumor that she was incarcerated for periods. It seems very normal for records in California to be hidden from public view. It's now automatic for felons to have the records sealed. So much criminal or imprisonment-related records wouldn't be publicly available on the Internet. While records can be hidden past criminal convictions can affect licensing to practice certain professions, such as social work in the state of California. An editor searched Doria's address on .com and among the suburbs that came up California in Flushing, New York. A women's prison in Flushing, New York, the Rose Singer Prison, and a holding jail in Camarillo, where prisoners can work off debts if they're bankrupt and unable to pay, were both discovered during her research for prisons in those parts of town. Less scandalous explanations for Meghan Mark's mother's absence include reports that she was involved in personal relationships, in rehab or a cult, or the official line from Meghan Markle that her mother was working on a career. We don't know what the truth about Doria is but whatever Tom Bauer put in his book, it hasn't been sued by the litigious holes. Then it's true. The British royal family must be horrified when they found out more about Meghan Markle and a sketchy drug-dealing mother. They must be very anxious about things right now, because King Charles was highly concerned when he learned that his son was using drugs in his teenagers, even though Harry is acting obnoxiously. It's believed they'll still be worried that he's among questionable pro-drug influencers. Rumors are still swirling around that. Meghan has stolen $9 million from the royal family and has diverted money to her mother. According to Celebrity, the funds in question believed to have been siphoned from King Charles' accounts were linked to a dubious elder care enterprise named Loving Kindness. Doria had taken up key positions within the company, including Chief Executive Officer Company, Secretary, and Chief Financial Officer at the Loving Kindness Care Home Firm in Beverly Hills, the senior care management company which initially presented itself as a provider of holistic care for the elderly. And those with chronic illnesses turned out to be a facade for fraudulent activities. The situation took an even more disconcerting turn as it was revealed that the Loving Kindness Company wasn't what it seemed. There are allegations that Dory's involvement was used to lend credibility to Megan's dealings potentially for monetary gain. The complexities of the situation point to possible financial manipulation and laundering with claims that the company's structure might be used to shield assets.